It's one of the largest expeditions in the Arctic to date. Um, we'll be there for an entire year and the measurements are so vast. I think it's probably the um, most interesting, most crazy experiment of this decade. It's a privilege, I think, to, to be there and see nature do something. There's scientists from all over the world who have all sorts of areas of expertise. There's definitely enthusiasm from uh, all the researchers in, in all the disciplines. It's very exciting. We're going to do something that hasn't really ever been done before. I'm really excited about the science. We're going to be getting data that we've never had before. We'll use this really comprehensive set of observations to be able to model things better in the Arctic and be able, be able to better predict climate. I have always believed that Arctic science is a step towards world peace. 600 scientists from 19 nations are coming together for a common cause. We are bringing experts from all around the world to the same experiment in the Central Arctic to study processes that are interrelated. Personally, I'm really excited to see what comes out of so many different disciplines and professions working together. Uh, and I'm also looking forward to meeting new people, new scientists. Biologists, chemists, atmospheric sciences, there's tons going on. The Arctic is one of the most unique places in the world the sound of the snow or the sky or the different animals. It's just such an interesting and bizarre place. It's pristine, it's hard to get to, it's challenging to work in. The temperature of the Arctic, you can only be outside or have exposed skin for um, 20 minutes before you need to go back inside. I love the light in the Arctic, it's so unique, especially at this time of the year. When you're in the field, you end up being able to really focus on what you're doing. All of the other distractions kind of go away when you're out in the field working on something, especially when it's in the middle of nowhere in the Arctic. These researchers are making huge sacrifices being aboard that ship for months at a time. I think the most challenging uh, part would probably be the time away from my family. It's going to be time away from people I care about. But it's because of these sacrifices that they'll be able to get the data they need to better understand the Arctic's changing climate. The Arctic system is changing so rapidly, the sea ice is melting, and that has huge implications for all kinds of other aspects of the Arctic climate system. So we have to understand what's going on up north. I'm really excited for the stories we get to tell um, through science. We'll have data to use and stories to tell for decades to come.